Hey, hi everybody. Happy Dog Farm here. Today is a product endorsement day. Uh, it's a combination product endorsement, pimp your press um, kind of video here. I'm talking about the Harbor Freight 20 ton air hydraulic jack. Uh, SKU number 95553. Now, if you go on the web today, you know, today, it's $119. Yesterday, two days ago, on the web, it was, where did that go? $94.99. I printed the page out because I was going to Erie anyway. Printed the page out, took it with me. Will you price match? Hmm, okay. That's a bunch of bucks. And then I pulled out the internet only, available on the internet only, 25% off discount coupon. So that $120 cider, per, uh, you know, that $120 pump ended up costing me $71. Hey, good deal. Work the web. Now, here's the other thing. When you get these coupons, you can use them on the internet, too. And Harbor Freight has a flat rate shipping of like $7 via FedEx. So if I hadn't been going to Erie already, I could have placed the order on the internet and gotten the same price that day. Apparently, they caught on to people like me and quickly fixed the price. Not my problem. So you really need to keep an eye out for steals and deals like this. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the press. I really, uh, not the press, the, um, the jack. I like it. I'm really, I'm, so far I'm in love with it. I bought a one-year warranty for it. I want to get through this pressing season, and it'll carry me through next pressing season. If I get two seasons out of it, it's gravy. Uh, if you bought the standard 20-ton hydraulic um, press, Arbor Press from Tractor from Harbor Freight. This is the bottle jack that you got. It's fine. You know, you, you do the little whippy whippy thing and it goes up and down, but it's woefully slow and it's time consuming, especially if you don't have a lot of people running around. You don't want one person just running the jack. This is the hydraulic uh, pneumatic jack. You have a manual override on it. There's two versions. Now, and this is kind of important. The 93335 fits in the same footprint as the one you got before. The other one has a different configuration, and I can give you no assurance that it's going to fit in the same spot. So that's why I'm talking about this one and not that one. All right. I made one mod to it. I put an inline oiler in. The Harbor uh, Tractor, who am I talking about? Harbor Freight has the inline oilers. Um, when you read the installation instructions, it talks about that this uh, pump needs lubrication. So I just said, fine. I don't want to deal with, did I remember to put the drops in, whatnot. I got a inch and a half nipple from Lowe's. I installed it right there. I put some Loctite on the threads so as this moves around or the hose twists it's not going to come undone and I bought myself a little jar of air tool oil because I have a lot of air tools that just made sense and I filled it up. Now um, I'm going to show you this before I actually demo it. That is as big as an air compressor as I've got. It is not large. It's fine for my normal air tools, which are all hammers or staplers. Thunka, thunka, thunka. They, does, they don't consume air like this does. So if you were buying an air compressor specifically for this, get a larger one. It wants 110 to 120 PSI to operate properly. I cannot produce that kind of volume for long. But you know, and I know, you don't do a fast squeeze. That is, you don't just go crush really quickly because you want the juice to come out, you know, nicely. You can probably see the, uh, it comes with the swivel, and you can see the hose line swiveling back there. And I'm going to give it a squeeze, and you'll see what goes on, and you're going to hear the compressor kick in pretty quickly.
now you hear the compressor kick in. But for me to have hand pumped that, that far, that would have been a pain in the butt. Now even though I'm at low pressure, you hear it slowing down, but it's still moving. I'm like really having a happy time with this. Um, you release it the same way, and I'm going to make a short tool for this, just a handle. Happy, happy. Um, give credit where credit is due. This pimp suggestion for pimping your press came from Noble Cider in North Carolina. And I'll provide a link because if you're in North Carolina, you need to try their cider. Um, they've taken this press and they worked with Reverend Nat in Portland, Oregon. And Reverend Nat pimped this press even more. And you're going to see me do some of both of their pimps because it's really a good deal. What he did is he created a raised platform to raise it so you're not on your hands and knees trying to build a cheese. You're working at waist height. You're working at an ergonomically comfortable height to use the press. So the next video I shoot about Pimp Your Press, I will show you how I did it. Um, they've used different materials to build their press stands. I'm going to use my favorite, which is strut, mostly because it's available and I really don't have the time right now to be doing all the cuts and the, the, to do for a weld job. Um, also, strut comes with a very corrosion resistant coating on it, so I'm not worried about it. Anyway, um, if you're thinking for either for a cider press or for some other application getting the 20 ton pneumatic hydraulic bottle jack, I like it. I've, ha I've only been running it, you know, like a day. The only recommendation I make is buy the inline oiler and attach it directly onto the jack between uh, the swivel and the air hose. It comes with this like really cool little button doer thing here. So you can do it and it has a lock position which I'm not likely to ever need because I'll run out of air long before that. But And then you would twist the, the normal hydraulic release uh, needle valve. You'd turn that again. Now push comes to shove. Just to let you know. Air compressor breaks. Oh no, what do I do? They give you a new one. Don't worry about it. But It still works as a manual press. You can still, well, you can still flog it, flail it, do what you need to do to use it as a manual press. That's nice. Plus, you have this backup 20 ton bottle jack, um, which frankly, I'm kind of really glad to have. I have a tractor and some other things, and that will come in really handy. So, that's all I got to say. Um, in closing, let me leave you with this. Dun, 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 dun.